Roger that, Rhino-1. Proceed as ordered. The area is clear. Do you copy? Leave it Charlie, Bluebird. We'll get to the target. Posing as the I know what I'm doing. Clever. We need to- Agreed. I wasn't trained in cracking codes, but I know how to crack people. And this rate- I discovered something that may be of interest to you, Igor. NAR is sending a team out to look- Could be related to what you're looking for. Sounds like a long shot, but it must be important if they're- My thoughts exactly. Also, it looks like there's an old Soviet- I know the place. Young pioneers used to have their summer camps there and- Yeah. And the KGB was playing a different sort of game just beneath them. I'll check it out. Anything that might get me info- Just, uh... Keep your feet on the ground, okay? Good luck, Igor. the young pioneer camp. Who would have thought that there were secret Soviet bunkers scattered around? Olivier tries hard to be friends with you, but is it genuine? He's a mercenary after all. Can you afford his brand of loyalty?
stay in the shadows. Isn't it here? Oh, fuck. Shit, take it easy, Andre. These documents are over 30 years old. Who knows where they ended up by now? The captain said we have to find them. It's really important. It, it's for the research division. Hey, 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 check it out. Some kind of transfer order. It's got a KGB stamp on it. Should be in a museum. All documents, memorandums, and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to secure storage in Bunker 007. Hmm. It's dated April of 86. Looks like they moved all the important records after the Chernobyl disaster. We can find the bunker later. Just keep searching, see what else we can dig up. Some traces of the portal generator. He must be close. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. What was that noise? I detected the echo of a recent. I have no time for this. Come out. remember the young pioneer camp. Who would have thought that there were secret Soviet bunkers scattered around? Olivier tries hard to be friends with you, but is it genuine? He's a mercenary.
the echo of a recent wormhole. It should lead me right to him. You're beginning to try my patience, Professor. Found quantum traces of the portal generator. He must be close. I know you're here. Come out. his last known position. It's only a matter of time before I find him. Found quantum traces of the portal generator. He must be close. You're beginning to try my patience, Professor. Maybe I should rearm the traps. What? Why? Whoever's after us will most likely come here looking for clues. Wouldn't it be prudent to... To what? Use this opportunity to try and thin the NAR ranks? Exactly. Look, I've done my fair share of killing, but I don't like that plan at all. God knows who might wander down here. What if a civilian walks into one of the traps?
You're right, it's too risky. I can't chance killing some Sanishel who went exploring. Good. I'm glad you agree. You're finally starting to think like a military man. I'm gonna give you the straight dope, Kimenyuk. Cause I like you. Tatiana is either dead or so old you can hardly tell the difference. Either way, this whole business is pointless. And wait, is that Boris? Beautiful, isn't it? Igor gave it to me for my birthday. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's such a cute dork. It's from Leningrad. He's so sweet. A tiny dancer? That's all he sees you as, huh? He doesn't really understand you like I do. If you'd only give us a chance, Tanya. Boris, please don't make me go through this again. Don't destroy our friendship. You don't need to worry about that. I will always be your best friend, but I can't forget that evening when we were at the Silver Lake in Gachina. And you said... We had our moment, but it's in the past now. Please, just don't. If that's what you really want... But you're making a mistake, Tanya. Igor is too buried in his books to see the real you. He only sees the perfect little Slavic woman. Fragile, supportive, and obedient. You're not yourself around him, Tanya. Afraid of overshadowing his accomplishments. Scared of driving him away. With me, you would never have to pretend. Never have to be someone you're not. I've never been more myself than when I'm with Igor. Don't try to get into my head, Boris. I've made my choice. You need to accept that. I'm really sorry if I hurt you. I regret that. Let's just... let's just finish our tea. I need to be back home by five. What? I remember the music box. It was from Leningrad. But Boris? Was he making a pass at Tanya? I trusted that son of a bitch. I think we're all set. That was a great idea with the music box, Conrad Major. Boris was talking to the KGB? I should have seen it. He was always so overly ambitious. Yes, I'm positive. She's about to blow the lid off the whole thing. And with her affiliations, there's no telling how long it'll be before the Western press gets wind of the Duga project. So I recommend that you move fast, Conrad Major. We need to make sure that our work continues without distraction. She's a dangerous dissident and needs to be put away. As for Kiminyuk, we need him so our work can continue. He's not involved in Amalieva's machinations. He's quite naive. He's what Comrade Lenin would call a useful idiot. Except he also happens to be a brilliant scientist, of course. Thank you, Boris. It's good to know that you always had my back, and that you were involved in the plot to kidnap Tatiana. What? What do you want? Tatiana Amnieva, please come with us quietly. It's better if you don't make a scene, for your own sake. What's all this about? Who, who are you? The better question is, who are you, Tatiana Femina Amnieva? Your father would be ashamed of you. Or does he know that you're plotting to betray your own motherland? Perhaps he's in on it too. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. We'll see about that. We're gonna have a nice, long chat, Amalieva. As it is, we've got a mutual friend, Amalieva. 
Boris told us all about you. What? No, he would never. The party has done so much for you, and this is how you repay us. You've got your head filled with this Western nonsense. Yes, yes. We've seen your contraband, this garbage. It makes me sick. You're not happy being a proper Soviet woman, eh? You've grown tired of pretending? Well, the game is over. Time to show your true face. You're a reactionist and a provocateur, ready to sell your country's secrets to the CIA. say Igor have to say about this, hmm? He's such a good comrade. When he hears of this, he will despise you. If you continue to resist, we'll pay a visit to your family in Murmansk. Don't make us do that. The drive always puts me in a foul mood. Please, no, don't. I'll come willingly. Good girl. Take it anymore. Lord, have mercy. Kill me, please. I can't believe this is real. Boris was jealous of me and Tanya? And when she turned him down, he got back at her by informing on her to the KGB. That goddamn rat. I trusted him. Good. God. I knew she hated this system, but. Exposing state secrets to the Western press? Can that even be true? I could be. I don't know what to believe anymore. Yes? The name is Oga. I live in the village in Red Forest. I've heard about it. <laughs> I hear that a lot lately. I'm afraid you need to- Your distrust is understandable under the circumstances, but we have the same goal. Drive any or out- Well, I didn't come here to conduct a guerrilla war on corporate- Yes, I know. You're looking for someone. So am I. Please come to our village in Red Forest so we can- Be extra careful on the way here, okay? The monsters, they mostly come out at night. If there's a village, does that mean you're one of the summer shells? The people who return to their- Some of the older ones never left. I know it's hard to believe. And there are newcomers like me. We came to the zone for many different reasons, but now we're united by one common goal, to get rid of NAR. I see. Fascinating. Please come to the village. This isn't just about me. You I'll make sure to stop by if I get the chop. claims that everything is just business, but I know you can tell he's holding back the whole truth, can't you? There's a deep darkness within him, caused by loss and grief. 
don't let it suck you in. Remember when they used to call this place the dish? We used to come here all the time. And you'd tease me whenever you got the chance. I love you, Igor. You know that. But that doesn't mean you're off the hook. I want you to see you challenge yourself for real this time. No more books. No more equations. No more quantum physics. After you finished your tea, I want you to take my hand and come speed skating with me. You're not going to science your way out of this. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. Even though I was the ice skating champion in Muramansk, I'll take it easy on you.
there. Don't shoot. Relax. Mikhail sent me. Are you his... His what? Ah, oh, yes. Sure. Sure thing. Mikhail, I found your friend. NAR did a number on him. It doesn't look... Fuck! Well, help the man! I need him! He's got connections. Besides, he doesn't deserve... Let me patch you up. Thank you. I don't have anything on me. I had to drop everything when I ran. I'm looking for someone. Her name... She plays a violin, right? Sibelius. Yes. My God, that's a... F I can still hear the music. Beaut weeks ago, I started having the dreams. She didn't say anything. My wife Katya used to play the violin, you see. That was our connection. What did she communicate? Oh, uh, I wrote it down someplace, but it's still in my hideout, probably swarming with NAR goons. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to check your hideout. This is very important to me. You'll be fine. Expression, Igor. You are like a foolish child wandering in the dark. You think you're getting cancer, but the dark water is rushing in. Soon it will be over your head. You should have stayed away. You cannot ruin everything now. I won't allow it. So, want to show me what you're made of? Now run. I will hurt you if I have to. I'm giving you a ten second head start.
People exposed to Chernobylite are able to communicate with each other. That's why people can see Tatiana. That's why I can see her too. So, how is he? Wounded. But he's good. Oh, that's a relief. He has access to different good- Looking out for your fellow man, eh, Mick? Fuck you, Mr. Righteous. Maybe this is some kind of romantic adventure for you. Perhaps gathering it. Perfect.
gathering supplies seems easy enough, right? Well, it's fucking herbs with large leaves can often be found in the vicinity or even beneath them. So being extra observant means I'm ready to put Uncle Mikhail's knowledge to... You need to find two mushrooms and two... And because my time is so precious... Three, two... Ah, fuck it. Just go fetch me some... Work on the heat. All right. Uh the fuck you want? Want to try? Just make. I've been thinking they never got as much cover. I think you think Yeah. But right. Can we Sure. skill of this shit, Professor. I'll make a stalker out of you yet. If you manage not to get yourself fucking killed first, I mean. I'm gonna give you the straight dope, Kimenyuk. Cause I like you. Tatiana is either dead or so old you can hardly tell the difference. Either way, this whole business is pointless.
Yes, comrade. We think that this subject could be the key. Patient Zero. Yes. She was pregnant. Only a couple of weeks. Yes, we were surprised too. No, she won't tell us who the father is. Based on the intel that our friends in the KTV provided us with, we've got two possible candidates. Unfortunately, one of them is already dead. Absolutely, comrade. We've taken every precaution to make sure that Amelieva and her child are safe and sound. We're very curious, too. We could be on the brink of something big here. Yes, I will keep you posted. Dear God, Tanya? She... she was with child? Our child? And she was this patient zero. They were using her for their experiments from the start. bird my little sweetheart soon you will see the blue sky the meadows you will hear the sound of the ocean smell the pine trees feel the sunlight on your face you're a very special boy you have a bright future ahead of you i want you to go far far away from here and be happy afraid. I will always be close to you. In your heart, in your deepest memories, find me there. It's time. We have to hurry. I love you, my sweetheart. Your mommy loves you very, very much. Now go. Tanya was kept prisoner here, and her child. Did someone take it away from her? Regrettable. My men are looking into it. Regrettable? It's a fucking disaster. How could you let this happen? If someone finds out... Mind your tone, comrade. I was fighting in Afghanistan when you were still pissing in your underwear. Now the boy suffered from acute autism. Couldn't even speak. My bet is, he's probably lying in a ditch somewhere. He couldn't have escaped on his own. Someone helped him. Are you saying it was an inside job? It's too soon for definite conclusions, but yes, I would say so. So, it must be a spy, a CIA asset. You KG people see spies everywhere. That probably explains why your arrest records are so high. Saddam is on the brink of invading Kuwait. I'm sure the CIA has more pressing problems than your research. No, this is not the CIA. This is someone closer to home. Don't worry. I intend to find out who. Look, General, I'm sorry I spoke out of turn before. I really do appreciate your work. You are vital to our efforts. The Duga project and our research, it could be bigger than nuclear weapons, bigger than even the space wars. is at stake here, even the future of the motherland. I already spoke with some of the party members, and... Let me be frank with you, comrade. 
The Soviet Union is falling apart at the seams, and I don't think anything can prevent that from happening. I'm not a scientist, but I've seen enough to know that this Chernobylite, on the other hand, could be the key to our future. We all have to do whatever's necessary to prepare for it. Tanya had a boy, and he escaped. Was it mine? God, if it was, I can't. Ah, oh, compose yourself, Igor. Looks like the KGB was trying to expedite the Chernobylite experiments. Maybe they were even hoping that the findings would prolong the life of the Soviet Union. Clearly, they didn't succeed. Two hours. Jack Frost? That's an old nickname. He brought me here to Pripyat years ago. You must have his reason. Your old mentor. I'm old. You'll most likely have an S. This woman, Olga, she seems to be running the show. Must be tough as nails. And all these Samoshils? They say it takes a village to raise a child, but how many does it take to find a lost love? Contract, I'm going to grow a beard. Chicks in Moscow dig beards. Your relentless search has finally caught up with you. Who knows what the NAR will do to you now? You don't want to find out what they have planned. Oh, my head! It's killing me! Where the hell am I? I have to find my portal generator. Who's 
Your relentless search has finally caught up with you. Looks like my gear is in the lab. I have to get it back before someone starts tampering with it. The body definitely fits the description. Guess this is the locksmith's brother, Athanasius. That's too bad. The locksmith seemed like a nice guy.
I'm gonna give you the straight dope, Kimenyuk. Cause I like you. Tatiana is either dead or so old you can hardly tell the difference. Either way, this whole business is pointless. This woman, Olga, she seems to be running the show. Must be tough as nails. And all these Samo shields? They say it takes a village to raise a child, but how many does it take to... Sweep 
when I'm done. Great. at his last known position. It's only a matter of time before I find him. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Found quantum traces of the portal. Why did you have to come? is not going to end well for you. Why did you have to come back, huh? is not going to end.
Why did you have to come back? you're made of. Why did you have to come back? Huh? Let's see what you're made of. Is not going to end well for you. You're full of surprises, but it's not over yet. Did you find any? Take a look. I'd like to... I'd like to... See you later. I don't know you. What do you want? I'm Igor. Olga sent for me. Olga, some Igor jackass here to see you. You know this guy, or should I shoot him in the throat? It's fine. Open... Ah, 
Hey, hey! Heard you're one of the crew running around giving NAR the squirts. I don't even know. So many you lost count, eh? Right on. Keep doing what you... Professor Kimanuk, I presume. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. I'm here. A few days ago, someone took our supplies. My husband, Kostia, went after the thing. Now he's gone too. In the meantime, some NAR henchmen showed up claiming they have a prisoner they want to trade for something of value. And you think it's... The description matches. I'd make the trade in a heartbeat, but as you can see, we don't really have... This place you're running, it's really something. Huh? What? Regular folks living in the middle of the zone? You're right. We're anything but regular. We're hunters. We know these woods better than the trees. What about you? To what? Remember the Chernobyl disaster? You're right. I came with my mom from Minsk after my dad died. She was a doctor who wanted to help the radiation victims. She met Matt Vey here and, well, they took a liking to each other. Then NAR arrived and came down on us hard. Fucking fascists. My mom disappeared. Matve took care of me after that. Taught me everything. Kostya came here two years ago with Doctors Without Borders. He stayed because of me, but yeah, the rest is really none of your business. All right. I can see you're really looking out. I promise you won't regret it. For our friends, we serve fine vodka. For our enemies, we have shotguns. One more thing. These assholes who took Kostya, I'm pretty sure they have our supplies. You want me to keep an eye out for the supplies? If you don't mind, but my old man comes first, obviously. Sure. Sure, I live to serve. What are you love? I'm looking after the pick Daisy, Dorothy. Now with all the food gone, I have to. My God. Those fuckers. Well, what do they say? Every civilization is only three meals away from. T I think. Yeah, John. You want to see Madve? Get him. Everyone has to wait. Okay. Good. You see? That's how you build. Taking them so long. Damn village idiots. Take it easy. Remember, Tom.
not going to end well for you. Let's see what you're made of. This is not going to end well for you. Full of surprises. But it's not over yet. This woman, Olga, she seems to be running the show. Must be tough as nails. And all these Samo shields, they say it takes a village to raise a ch
So it's you. Why did I suspect you were involved in all this? Please, help me. My people are counting on me to return with food. Haven't we had this conversation before? I was looking for our stolen supplies and got jumped by those thugs. They stole your food and then set an ambush for you? <laughs> that doesn't... Quiet. They're still out there. We can sneak past them then. You say you went after the thieves? How did you know where to go, exactly? What do you mean? I uh, followed their tracks. I'm a skilled tracker and hunter uh, since I was a kid. Really? Olga said you were a... What happened to the... Sub Must be somewhere nearby. We should stop and get them. I need to bring... Why am I still locked up in here? Let me out and let's get back to Olga. I'll make sure you get the credit for retrieving the food. All right, you're free. Head back to the camp. Thanks. I'll put a good word in for you. Going here, huh? <laughs> I have arrived at his last known position. It's only a matter of time before I find him. recent wormhole. It should lead me right to him. Don't make it harder to see what you're made of.
Thanks again for breaking me out of that hellhole. But before you go see all- Do you now? I had a feeling you might have a hidden- ad You have the supplies, right? Let me take them off your- What? <laughs> Those are some bull- I- I really need you to hand them over. I'll give them right back to Olga, promise. Either you tell me what is this all about, or I'm not- All right. I'll look, I've been trying to help these people for years. Show them how to run this place better, organize them- Go on. But for some reason, they don't trust me. They only listen to Olga and that old- Don't get me wrong, I love Olga. I love all of them. They're my family, and I live to protect them. Even- Maybe they don't trust you because you're a lying sack of shit. What do you want with the supplies? Matve needs to learn his place. He's reckless, makes decisions that could get us all killed. His reign of terror has to be stopped. I'm going to spike his food. Just give him a little something to make him a bit more, um, docile. Then I can make some changes around here, and Olga will finally see reason. She's under Matvey's influence. It has to stop. Well, that's... <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. So this is all about your personal vendetta? I'm a doctor. As you know, I'll be very careful with the dosage. It won't do any real harm. Trust me. This will benefit everyone. If you help me with this, you'll always find support here. Whatever you need, I'll get it for you. Before I make up my mind, I need you to come clean about one more thing. Did you steal- <sighs> Yes. Yes, I did. But only because of how much I care about this place. I trust that you can see this and will make the right call. You know you need allies in a place like- All right, I'll play your game. But remember, you owe me big time. I'll be asking you to ret- Absolutely. You've got my- I retrieved your sub- That's fantastic. What about the thieves? No idea. I sneaked past them and stole back the food. It wasn't, but it would have been one less thing to worry about. Uh, never mind, Well, You came through, Igor. You're a man of your- Thank you for saving Kostya. It can be difficult, but he's family. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find- How about joining forces? Your people seem to have everything under control here. I could use someone with your skills and- And I could use someone who knows so much about NAR technology. Yeah, I think Madve can take care of things on his own for a while. Lead the way. I'll open a portal for you. Just don't freak out, okay? It is a little unsettling, but I trust you. Hop on and enjoy the ride. I'll see you at the base. You want to see Matve? Everyone has. Uh. Next time, come in the morning. The queue is shorter then. You may also want to. Those fuckers. Well, what do they say? Every civilization is only three meals away. I think. Yeah, John Lennon's. I appreciate you joining my little team. If this will ensure the safety of my people.
Your village. We just call it uh, initially it was It looks almost like a Not if they bring trebuchets and ballistas. So I guess it's kind of a I was going to say NAR is only pop. Well, we call them lurkers. They don't come around the village. I asked Matt Vey about it once, but he wasn't very forthcoming. Said something. Microclimate. The important thing is that we're safe in the village, at least from that group of monsters. I trust Matt Vey. How do you deal with it? Any way we can. Mostly with guns and bullets and knives and pretty much whatever can be used to hurry someone along. I wonder why they're so intent on harassing you. We thought the same thing at first. I figured maybe we could come to an understanding and they'd, we got the whole wilderness here after all. Some low-level mercs. A tribute. Exactly. It started small, but then the fuckers got greedy. <laughs> Naturally. They even wanted to borrow some ladies from our village for a party. Sounds awful. I actually volunteered. I said to Matve, I'm no lady, but I'll go. And Matve replied, like hell you will. And then he told those NAR bastards to go to hell. Well, that's understandable. He's your stepdad. He was worried about what they'd do to you. Hell no. He knew if I went with them that they'd all end up dead with a mouthful of severed dick. I guess he wanted to avoid an all-out war for as long as- <laughs> you true. your crew to be well rested you need to you're right fucking great Have a moment? What's on your mind? I was thinking about an old woman I used to about the rev her husband. Fascinating. She was I'm sorry. I asked her why I wanted to live. It was a so I want to make mine count. Hopefully we can avoid that. Well, is my stepdad. Hi, old. I'd be glad to. Actually. I'd like to Sure.
Thank you. 